afternoon, everyone. My name is Kayla now, and today I'm going to tell you how to manage our daily stresses. I started public speaking at around seven years old, so I've gotten lots of practices. But even now, I can still feel the anxiety and pressure every time I'm on stage. Even now. We all have stressful moments in our life, whether it is homework not done or a project due soon. We can make the stress vanish from thin air, but we can find ways to reduce it. But before we get to that, let's first get a better understanding of what is stress and how it affects us. Stress is the demand on our brain caused by a sense of worry or mental tension. There could be many reasons why someone could be stressed. For example, it could be because the person is facing a huge change in life. It could even be because of the type of food you eat. Food can also affect how easily you are to get stressed. Foods such as alcohol, caffeine, and sugary foods and drinks could cause you to be more easily stressed. Sugary foods and drinks can affect your mood, which because it triggers your stress response, because of the sudden rise and drop in blood sugar. Stress may be momentarily or last a long time. Both have horrendous effect on your body. Short-term stress may cause you headaches, stomach aches, chest pain, rapid heartbeats, and etc. Long-term stress may affect you by causing you to have depression, insomnia, headaches, anxiety, and other problems. So how do we reduce it? Although we can't just press a stop button and stop completely, we could find ways to avoid it. You could start by getting a well-balanced diet. You could also take more sleep and also exercise regularly as well. And if you're already stressing out, try taking a deep breath and meditating. You could also take a walk outside and listen to some music. Whatever that will help calm you down. If those doesn't work, try talking to your friend or family members. Seeking help isn't anything shameful. Instead, doing nothing and bottling it all up will only make things worse. It's like carrying a weight that gets heavier and heavier as time goes past. Sharing burden won't just be helpful to you, but to all those who worries and wants to help you. In the future, you may face difficulties in life, but sometimes taking a deep breath and keeping a clear head might help much more than you think. Thank you. On June 30th, 2024, the Association of Certified Professional Nutritionists (ACPN), in collaboration with the Canada-wide Business Association of Industry and Commerce and the Canadian National Education Society, successfully concluded the 2024 Life Cycle Wellness Management Competition. With the support of the Canadian Federal Government, the Community Foundations of Canada, and United Way Centried Canada and Greater Toronto, Dozens of families from the community participated in the competition finals. We'd like to acknowledge the Member of Provincial Parliament, Mr. Billy Pang, City Councilor of Scarborough Agincourt, Mr. Nick Mantis, Deputy Mayor of Richmond Hill, Mr. Godwin Chan, and York Regional Councilor, Mr. Alan Ho, for their letters of congratulations for bringing the event to a successful conclusion. As the event began, ACPN Secretary General Ms. Carrie Way presented a commencement speech, highlighting the ACPN's Academic Commission's support for the candidates in the field of health sciences ensuring their access to the most up-to-date information in the field. Meanwhile, the president of the Canada-wide Business Association of Industry and Commerce, CBAIC, Mr. Edward Zheng, acknowledged the its support for the competition with their extraordinary health industry expertise. In addition, the CBAIC works to connect local communities with the newest scientific innovation in health sciences in association with the National Education Society. Together, the organizations are able to provide the latest and greatest health science solutions to local families, as well as implementing education of periodic life and health science and its real-life day-to-day applications. The competition includes several age groups, 4 to 8, 8 to 12, and 13 to 18. We are this year celebrating the Health Cycle Management Year, which is specifically targeted to children and young adults. This part is targeted to do a competition. Because we believe that children and young adults are very good at learning. They 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 are very good at learning. 
在连接社区、家庭和儿童和青少年。嗯，通过这个过程当中呢，我们发现他们取得了非常非常大的进步。那么这次参加儿童这个劝席健康比赛，我非常受感动。又从小最小的小孩四岁，最大的十几岁，他们都对健康有深入的了解，而且他们对这个整个的健康的认识程度是让我非常的惊讶。那么我希望全人类都为了健康追求健康。那从儿童做起。呃，今天很感动。今天的小孩真的真的懂我们小的时候真的不能懂的事其实，不不不管就是很小很很早就开始学会这些非常重要的呃嗯、呃、education 的思想，呃，但是他们学到的也是非常非常实用，不只是书面上，就是他们。Ming Ming uh, my daughter is uh, part of this competition. Her name is Alexis. She was speaking uh, about the uh, importance of healthy diet, of uh, different types of food. Uh, I, I agree with the uh, importance uh, of uh, proper nutrition, and we're happy to be here and uh, to have our daughter participate in this competition. I think this event is very good and very important. Children are very happy to participate in this competition. 活动中连续每年都来参加，每年都得到了很好的锻炼。我一步一步的能够看到他们都在成长，这个过程中就是他们就已经得到了足够的锻炼和这个成长。非常感谢，就是今天有这个机会来到现场，然后给我的小孩一次呃上台演讲的机会。然后通过这次的演讲比赛呢，小朋友也在参与过程当中了解了更多的一些健康知识。那它的主题是垃圾食品，那他对此也了解到平常我们吃的东西是哪些是归为健康，哪些是归为不健康。那也非常珍惜这一次机会，让他在这个过程当中不仅得到一些健康知识，而且还。I joined the event. I participated because I wanted to practice my public speaking skills. And the topic today is about nutrition. I chose mindful eating because I believe because of all the distractions we have, watching TV, social media, we tend to neglect what we feed the body, and that is very important, as we all know, because it affects the mental condition. It's one of the inputs of the body. So what we feed the body affects all the organs, and I believe that we should be more mindful of what we choose to feed the body. As I was researching and like making the PowerPoint for this um, presentation, I not only learned a lot about how to like make a speech, prepare a presentation, but I also learned about how to achieve a balanced diet. And to my life, it's had quite an influence, and like. I often find myself adding more balanced meals to my daily routine. The multitude of events occurring during the competition included enlightening discussions of care for kids and youth, putting the candidates' wellness management skills for each age group on full display. During the events, families had the opportunity to connect with subject matter experts and discuss real-world applications and the latest innovations in the field of health management. Participants covered various subjects, for example, what is junk food and why is it unhealthy? Five food groups for kids and their nutrition. How functional nutrient lutein supports kids' vision and learning. The importance of omega-3 for child development. How to manage our daily stresses. Stroke is no joke. Balanced diet to stay healthy. Why does eating fruit provide health benefits? How social media influences our food choices and how to develop good eating habits in the world of cyberspace and AI. How to manage irritable bowel syndrome, the importance of sleep, mindful eating. The purpose of the life cycle wellness management competition is to establish three major forces to improve health, the power of science, smart education, and wellness leadership. With these three powers, we will explore hollow information of health-related science, industry, and life biomarkers. Armed with this information, we can evaluate our health status in a more systematic, objective, and scientific manner, make more accurate wellness plans and decisions, and manage health more safely and effectively. Further, we can better identify nutritional needs and make better decisions regarding health, allowing people to intelligently and rationally make purchase decisions and manage their body scientifically. A CPN has been dedicated over the years in working with health professionals to create a new framework for scientific knowledge to close the gap between science, industry, global information, and the health needs of the community. The promotion of life cycle wellness management based on foods, functional nutrients, and natural health products is a core focus as part of the 
effort of elevating Canada's position in the global wellness management industry. With the organization of a multitude of events and training, the ACPN is leading the way into a new era of family wellness management for society. While the competition has concluded, the ACPN continues down the path of exploring life cycle wellness management, keeping up the work in the community to bridge the gap between industry and consumer. In acknowledgement of ACPN's efforts in completing federal government projects in the field and their hard work in the community, the Minister of International Trade, Export Promotion, Small Business and Economic Development, Honorable Mary Eng, presented ACPN with a Certificate of Appreciation, acknowledged ACPN's achievements, encouraged the continuation of their current efforts, thank ACPN for creating better opportunities through leadership, partnership, and social responsibility, and invited ACPN to present at the Foundation for the Restoration of Community Services event. The ACPN hopes the event has successfully inspired all attendees to take a new perspective at life cycle wellness management and aspire to become wellness leaders for themselves, family, and thereby connecting daily life communities' wellness needs with advanced scientific innovations. This will create happier and better quality of life for global communities and lead the future.